We're given g of x is tangent of a times x, and capital A is the region bounded by the graph y equals gx, the x-axis and the lines x equals zero and x equals pi over four a. Make a sketch of the region a and find its area. So tangent of ax, in general tangent of x has uh, vertical asymptotes at pi over two and negative pi over two. And at pi over four, it's going to be one. At zero, it's zero. Negative pi over four is negative one. So it's gonna look something like this. But, and this is for a equals one here. So this is tangent of one times x. So where a is one. In this problem, we have tangent times, tangent of a times x. So all we have to do is take every point in the x, uh, yeah, every x coordinate and divide it by a. So instead of pi over two, that's going to be pi over two a. And the idea is if I plug in pi over two a, the a's are going to cancel. And you're gonna have pi over two, which is a vertical asymptote. So it'd be like this, pi over two a. And then instead of pi over four, you want the a's to cancel to, so you can have pi over four left inside. So it's gonna be pi over four a. Zero is just zero if you divide by a. And then you have negative pi over four a. That's gonna be negative one. And then this will be negative pi over two a. So this is gonna be one period for g of x. Now, we want this to be bounded by y equals g of x, the x-axis, and the lines x equals zero and x equals pi over four a. So let's draw this out. So this is the x-axis. This is, um, so I guess we could just see where they intersect. This is the x-axis the line x equals zero, that's the y-axis. And then g of x, that's the equation. And then x equals pi over four a, pi over four a, that's this one, that's this line right here. So you wanna be bounded by all four of those. So the region then has to be inside here. So this is region A. The area, well we need an integral, that's going to go from 0 to x equals pi over 4a. And then that's just g of x inside here, which is tangent of ax. I can rewrite this as sine of ax over cosine of ax. Now this is the long way of doing it if you don't know, if you don't have uh, the antiderivative of tangent memorized. So just so we're clear, the integral is ln of cosine of x. Uh, negative, sorry, negative ln cosine of x. So for here, you would just put negative ln of cosine of ax and then divide it by a for the antiderivative. But I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's say u is cosine of ax, du is negative sine, negative a sine ax dx. So tangent of, oh, sorry, sine of ax. I have sine of ax dx, so that will be du over negative a. So I'm just gonna put the negative one over a in the front. That's gonna be du over u. So if I integrate negative one over a du over u, that's gonna be negative one over a ln of absolute value of u, which is negative one over a ln of cosine 
of AX. And that's exactly what we had here. Okay, now we have to evaluate it from 0 to pi over 4a. I'm going to plug in pi over 4a. The a's are going to cancel. I'm going to have pi over 4 left. And then I'm going to plug in 0 for x. When I get cosine of 0, that's just 1. So that will be ln of 1. Now negative 1 over a. Cosine of pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. ln of 1 is 0, so that gets canceled. So this is the area of region A. Suppose the region A is rotated about the x-axis. Find the volume of the solid revolution formed. So now we're going to take this, revolve it about the x-axis. So this is going to be a disk. So we go from 0 to pi over 4a. And the formula is pi r squared. So I'm going to put the pi here. The radius is just going to be the height, which is tangent of ax squared dx. And now tangent squared, well, I don't know what the antiderivative of tangent squared is. But I do know that tangent squared plus 1 is secant squared. And so tangent squared will be secant squared minus 1. But for us, we're just going to put in ax for secant squared. So that's going to be secant squared ax minus 1 dx. Now I know that the derivative of tangent is secant squared. So the antiderivative of secant squared is tangent x. But in this case, we have ax. So that's going to be tangent of ax over a by the chain rule minus x. And then I'm going to evaluate it from 0 to pi over 4a. Now, if I plug in pi over 4a, the a's are going to cancel. I'm going to have tangent of pi over 4. That's all over a minus pi over 4a. If I plug in 0, tangent of 0 is just 0. And then x, if I plug in 0 into x, that's also 0. So I'm not going to do anything. Now, tangent of pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. That's root 2 over 2 over a minus pi over 4a which I can rewrite it as uh, root 2 over 2a minus pi over 4a. And now I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom of the first fraction by 2. So we get pi times 2 root 2 over 4a minus pi over 4a. And that's going to be pi times the quantity 2 root 2 minus pi over 4a. And this is going to be the volume.